Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming. I hope that you're all taking care out there and staying safe. Now, in today's video, we're going to be going through this week's Forzathon, which is actually a really nice and easy one, and you won't even need any tunes to complete it either. So it wants you to complete all of the challenges in a rally monster car of your choice. Like I said, you won't need a tune because they're already fairly tuned cars. So when you go into your garage, you're going to select a rally monster of your choice. Now, obviously, there is quite a selection, depending on how big your garage is, how many you have. A lot of Hoonigan cars in there as well, but I won't be using any of them today just in case, in case some of you guys don't actually have them. So I'm just going to use one that can be purchased from the auto show or quite a common one. So I'm using the Raul Letterman uh, Racing Fiesta. Now, like I said, I'm not using a tune on it at all. All I've done is change the wheels really, so nothing too big. Now, the first challenge here wants you to get 20 ultimate drift or e-drift skills in your rally monster. So to do this, I went over to the express rail yard uh, instead of obviously going to the airfield where I'd normally go for a challenge like this, purely because you've got a nice wide open area here just to rack up a ton of drift skills really quick. Now, literally the difference between a drift and an e-drift is the use of the handbrake. So if you use your handbrake, you get an e-drift skill. And if you don't, then you just get a normal drift skill. But you can get a combination of both to complete the challenge. It really doesn't matter. As long as they are ultimate skills, then you're really golden, to be honest. So you have to get 20 of them. And like I said, in any of the rally monsters, it's actually really easy because they're all massively tuned cars. You know, they're not sort of bogo standard things. They are fantastic cars, really, really good sort of on and off the road but they have rapid acceleration and they're all actually pretty good for drifting even though they're all all-wheel drive it doesn't really matter but they are fantastic to complete this challenge in it's a really really easy one like i said this fiesta can just be bought in the auto show or even the auction house but you can use any of them you know the sort of chem blocks gymkhana ones are fantastic as well it's entirely down to yourself now the next challenge here once you get a total of 15 stars from speed zones so if you watch my content you know that the speed zone that i always go for is this one up here in between derwent water and moorhead wind farm it's the forest green speed zone and the reason i always use this one is because three stars on here is only 90 mile an hour so to get 15 stars you'll only have to do five runs on here which does seem quite onerous but again any of the rally monsters can complete this really really easy and quickly this fiesta like i said it's another easy one and to be honest you won't even drop below 90 mile an hour on this speed trap throughout the whole thing you'll be flying through it and you'll get three stars on each one and it's just a rinse and repeat exercise you know it's nice and easy to be honest all of the challenges in this week's falls are just simple rinse and repeat ones so as soon as you complete one run you just turn around and do it over and over again and like i said it's highly unlikely you'll get below 90 mile an hour and the three star target on this one so you'll just be able to rinse all 15 stars very very quickly which like i said is just five runs so that's the best part of two three minutes if that a nice and easy second challenge to complete there in a rally monster now the third and final challenge here wants you to win three dirt racing series events so this can be a normal dirt circuit race or a trail event but of course i've created a race for you guys to use so if you go up to glen rannock near the viaduct you'll see a race called glen rannock trail now on this one I've created a blueprint for you guys to use. It's called Forzathon Easy and the share code for this is 733545904. So all you have to do is type that in and this race will come up. And then again it's another rinse and repeat where you just have to win this race three times in a rally monster car of your choice. So you can do this on any difficulty as well. It really doesn't matter and it doesn't affect the outcome of the, the race. And like I said I just send them off into... I, I don't even know where I sent them off to, but it's nowhere near the finish line, so it's all good. So all you have to do is just win that race three times, and then you'll have completed the last Forzathon challenge. So there you have another really, really quick week's Forzathon. Nice and simple, to be honest. And like I said, you can use any Rally Monster car. It really does not have to be tuned, because they're all cracking cars, to be honest. Now, if this guide did help you out, I would really appreciate if you could drop a like and let me know down below in the comments. And if you're new to the channel, subscribing would help me out massively as well. But apart from that, guys, I wish you all the best. I hope that you take care and stay safe.